And to make this easier, I do have a pattern for the couch and armchair. You can email me at aglotstosee at gmail.com and I will send it to you. Okay, starting out, we're gonna make our armrest six inches tall. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that on the piece of paper. Now I'm going to use a small, round, one and a half inch diameter circle. This happens to be some baby eczema cream. Now you're gonna trace around the circle and you're gonna have the very top of the circle at your six inch mark, as you can see here. And that is gonna make our armrest shape. Now we're going to make the bottom part of our armrest one inch wide, which if you get my pattern, you won't have to do this because it will be included in that. Now we're just gonna make a small line that connects our circle down to the bottom part of the armrest. Now I'm going to make a base piece of the couch. You will actually need two of these. They're about 14 inches long by five and a half inches wide. And I'm cutting them out of cardboard box. Now for the back of the couch, I'm going to trace around my base piece and cut out a piece of armrest. Now, like I said before, if you download my pattern, then you won't have to do this step. I am also tracing this piece on the cardboard and we're going to need two of them. Now I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper and measure over seven inches. To make the arch of my couch, I'm going to go ahead and draw that down. Then I'm going to cut this out so that I can make my arch even on both sides. This step also isn't necessary if you have the pattern. Now you're basically going to trace out another piece just like the last one, except for you're not going to trace around the entire base, you're just going to make a line on the bottom. Now from our bottom line, we're going to measure up one inch to make it one inch wide at the bottom. This will also not be required if you download the pattern. You will need to cut out two of these as well. Now I'm going to cut out my base supports out of cardboard. Use hot glue to glue your base supports onto your base board and then glue the other base board over the top to make a box as shown. Now we're going to trace around the front of our couch and the back of our couch to make the back of the couch front piece. This is also not necessary if you download the pattern. Now we are going to glue our front piece to the base box. and glue one of our back pieces to the back side of the base box, opposite of the front side. So it should look like this. Now we wanna cut several pieces of cardstock five and a half inches wide as shown. Now you're gonna roll up one piece of cardstock to make the arms of our couch. So we're gonna put it in place and make sure that it's as wide as it needs to be and then we will tape it in place. Repeat the step for the other side, then take your other pieces of cardstock and roll it up tight and put it inside of your arm pieces. This is going to give our arm pieces more strength so that they will, won't flex as easy. Now we are going to hot glue our arm pieces in place on both sides of the couch. Now we are gonna cut out our armrest base pieces. These are gonna fit beneath the armrest and against the base. You are gonna cut out as many pieces needed to fill the gap. For me, it was four pieces of thick cardboard. Then we're going to glue it in place. Mm -hmm. 
So this is what it'll look like after it's glued in place. Next, we're gonna cut out a piece of fabric that's big enough to cover up the bottom of our couch. If your fabric is directional, be sure to pay attention to which way that you're putting it on there. And now we're going to glue it in place. We're going to cut off the excess around the corners because it's gonna be covered up by pieces later. Now we're gonna glue cardstock onto the inside of the armrest and wrap it around to where it meets this little corner. This is gonna smooth it out and cover up any gaps between the armrest base and the armrest top. And do this for both armrests. Now, as you can see here, there's some extra cardboard sticking out from our armrest. So we're just gonna to wanna to trim that off to make it smooth. Now I'm going to take this one and a half inch thick foam and a piece of cardboard cut to the same size. We're going to lay our fabric over the top of it and glue it to the bottom of the cardboard piece to make our seat cushions. Glue the top and bottom part of your fabric to the board first and then fold your sides in like And on the couch you're going to make two of these. For the chair you'll only have to make one. Whenever you cut out the fabric for the armrest, you wanna make sure you have a little bit of overlap on each side. It's gonna be approximately the same length as your cardstock paper, but a little bit longer because we're going to add cushion. To begin with, glue the bottom part of the fabric to the couch. Then we're going to add some stuffing to the top. And what I used here is just regular pillow stuffing. And I put very light amount of hot glue to just kind of hold it in place. You don't want to put too much, otherwise you'll be able to fill it on the other side. And then after that, you're just going to wrap your fabric around and you're going to glue it in the crease where your armrest, the round part of the armrest meets the base. Now you're going to glue down the extra fabric in the front and the back as shown here. Now you want to cut out a piece of fabric to cover up your front back piece. You're going to glue the bottom and the sides, but leave the top open. Now we're going to add more pillow stuffing in through the top part until it's the thickness that we want. that is looking pretty good. Don't glue the top down yet um, because it's actually gonna get glued to the back side of the couch. So as you can see here, you're actually gonna pull that around to the back side of the couch and then glue it down. That way there won't be a seam there. And you just cut off your excess material Now you're gonna need two pieces of cardstock to cover up your armrest base, and we're going to wrap the fabric around that, gluing it on the top and bottom. Don't glue your sides down because they're actually gonna wrap around to the front and the back of the couch, as you can see here. You're gonna need a piece of fabric to cover up the entire back of the couch. So this is where that other cardboard piece comes into play and you're just gonna glue it down all around. Now, whenever you get to the circles, you'll probably have to cut relief slits so that it keeps it nice and smooth. the back side of our couch. Mm -hmm. Now 
Now you're going to cut out a piece of fabric that's big enough to cover up the front part of the couch, which is the other cardboard piece that we had. And once again, you're going to cut relief slits around the circle and glue it in place. Then we're going to glue that to the front of our couch. So there you have it, one 18 inch doll couch. And the armchair gets made in the same way, except for your pattern, it's um, about half the length of the couch. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching.